are now t- 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 tuned in to your number one radio station. Infinite We are Netflix Finish Network for the strong, not the weak. The alarm is strong, the built for this network is now activated. The alarm is ringing, built for this network is now activated. The alarm is ringing, built for this network is now activated.
Stacking benches in a trap mobile fit ain't in a rock and Fendi. No, I might come off a certain way, but I ain't friendly. Sitting back, I reminisce on days when I was dingy. Keep what I deserve, but spread the love, I ain't stingy. Uh, by any means, they no freebie to go to. He snap on about anything. No, if he keep on going, he bound to get plenty teams. Champion in his blood, so he bound to get plenty rings. Ah, man, it's too easy for me. The way I ball on any court, feel like I need endorsement. Some rappers should have been aborted, but we don't need abortion. Got too much cake up on they plate, feel like I need a portion. Like, cut me in. They was doing me bad. No karma gon' come again. I was built for a tough, no choice but go for the win. Keep it cooling in the sample, my pen just flow with the wind. I'm a dog, feel like I'm Snoop need the juice to go with the gin, uh, uh. Mic check one two, what is this? Mic check one two, what is this? Yeah! Guess who's been Zach? Not by choice, I'm back by... <laughs> by... I was shook, I was shaken down. I was in the corner. They made me do it. You feel what I'm saying? But it's your boy DJ Mad Knox back on the mother thinking just because show right here on Built for This Network, baby. You feel what I'm saying? For the strong, not the weak. You already know the vibes, man. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to the chat room already lit up. Listen, do me a favor. Please share the show. I know Spreaker be on some bull job with bull job bullshit <laughs> with, with, with uh, people not getting the show. So do me a favor. If you can, just take a good five to ten seconds. Hit that share button and share that alert out. You know what I mean? To a good our good positive community of the Spreaker Nation, you feel what I'm saying, but shout out to my brother, T-Man, you know what I mean, what up T-Man, shout town finest DJ up in this piece, my brother Big Illy, so network in the building, shout town finest as well, Big Illy, what's going on, uh, co-founder, co-CEO, this here, built for this network, representing Jersey, real heavy by the way of Atlanta, my brother, the number one chief rocker, Jersey Vern, and this guy <laughs> who called me 
personally and said, Crown Hold, I'm going to tell you now. If we don't get no Just Because show, <laughs> we through. I'm railroading you. Everything. You feel what I'm saying? He told me this. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do this. But I got a trick for this brother right here going towards the end of the show. I got a trick for him towards the end of the show. You feel what I'm saying? So, shout out to my brother, though. This is my brother, man. Zulu Cast founder. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all go and on YouTube right now. If you haven't subscribed to the Jungle Brother show, please go and subscribe to my brother, Jungle Brother Zulu Cast in the building. What's going on, Jungle? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby, we back at it. We back at it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm about to put a bitch warrant out on you and <laughs> leave something in your vehicle. <laughs> yeah. So, yo, it's been it's been a lot going on, man. I just appreciate the love of the Just Because show that people still want to hear the uh, takes that I do. You know what I mean? The the input that I do and everything. We're going to get Theory of the Culture back as well. Um, my other two brothers, you know, they're going through life situations. So, you know, when life be lifing, you know, you got to handle life first. You know what I mean? Handle life first, then come back. So, you know what I mean? We should be like a couple of weeks away before that. You know what I mean? But man, 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 man. Oh, um, it's been going down as far as the internet is concerned. You feel what I'm saying? Uh it, it, it's mad internet beef right right now. Mocha Bella X Squad in the building, 305. What up, Bella? Appreciate you. Uh Man, I, I really forgot how to do a Just Because show. It's been so long right now. You feel what I'm saying? I I got to get back on the bike with this thing. But we going to have fun for the time that we here. Shout out to everybody who's um supporting and everything else. Shout out to everybody who's on that Mixed Cloud right now. If you haven't followed me or the team or built for this network, go over there and follow the Built for This Network team and follow everybody that's on that platform as well. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, but um, man, where do I start? Where do I start? We could talk about, I mean, Cat Williams, we done talked about Monique on Jungle Thing, but we haven't talked about how uh, Mike Epps and Shay Shay is getting, well, they had a beef. But now that it's going to be a talk this weekend because they both going to be in town this weekend. So, you know what I mean? But they was going back and forth and shit. You know what I mean? So, Mike Epps straight up, you know what I mean, lied on Shannon saying Shannon DM'd him to be on the show where in reality Mike Epps DM'd him. You know what I mean? So that was crazy too. Shout out to DJ Chuck in the building. What up, Chuck? Appreciate you, bro. Um, <laughs> okay, T Man got me on his live show too. Appreciate you, T Man. Appreciate you. Yeah. So, um, yo, so you know, it's it's going down. It, they, you know, how I look at it, it was like. I don't know if you want to call Mike Epps a little bit of a clout chaser on that level. Because he was trying to piggyback off of the Cat Williams thing. What he said when uh, he brought up Mike. Okay, this is what Mike's saying. That Shannon brought up his name in the Cat Williams interview. Uh, Cat didn't really bite on him. But he felt like why Shay Shay brought up his name or whatever the case may be. So, I don't know. You know what I mean? Only time will tell. Whatever it is, it is what it is. But, um, you know, it went from these guys talking about, oh, I'm going to see you. 
Mike was like, I don't fight, you know, what wouldn't come, you know, I, I got to protect myself, but I don't fight. So, you know, he threatened to shoot him. And um, it went from that to having a conversation to where them two was going to, you know, talk, hash it out, man to man type shit, which is some cool shit, like, for two black brothers to just do. You feel what I'm saying? Like, okay, we could go back and forth on the internet shit, but it don't got a result to where motherfuckers got to fight. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, you know where I stand, this is what I stand, and, um, but, yeah, and like, yeah, Jungle, I don't remember Mike Epps name coming up in that either, you feel what I'm saying, I really, I really don't remember his name coming up in that, now, to my recollection, cause that was, I, I thought it was just based off of Steve, Ricky, Kevin, and who else he brought up, um, I think, did he bring up D.L.? He, he might have brought up D.L. Hughley. But, you know what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't remember Mike Epps' name is in that whole realm and stuff like that. T-Man got the Webby Room, um, the Webby Room <laughs> popping, you know what I mean, right now. So, if y'all want to go and chime in and say what's up to T-Man, y'all could do that. But yeah, I don't remember his name coming up in that either, man. So, but I, I just, I'm just glad it didn't get go left. You know what I mean? To where the messiness happened. You feel what I'm saying? That that wouldn't have been cool. That wouldn't have been cool at all. You know what I mean? I mean, Shay Shay out here popping though. You know what I mean? Let, let's keep it 100. Since that Cat Williams interview. Shannon Sharp has became a household name. You know what I mean? Like, for real, as far as, as I want to say media is concerned. You know what I mean? Because that nightclub is some good shit on there with him and Ocho. I always check that out. I love the fact, you know, they tap into sports, but the side stories be the funny shit. Um... Yeah, man, and um, he got that club Shay Shay that be popping. So, you know, it, it, yeah, Ricky Smiley and Earthquake, right? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm, you know, I'm thinking at the end of the day, Mike Epps is just chasing right now, and you know he got the tour coming up and everything else, and. You know, uh, Mocha said Club Shay Shay wasn't popping when he was on Undisputed. That's real language, Mocha. That's real language. Soon as he left Undisputed, you feel what I'm saying? Because I think Undisputed had more of his time as, you know what I mean? As like, it had more of his schedule, his time that he could have put. He put energy in Club Shay Shay, but yeah, once he left that, Club Shay, and he put that energy to Club Shay Shay. Yeah, he was popping. He was popping. So give it up to Shannon, man. Give it up to him. I, I mean, where, where my little effect at? You got to give it up to him. You got to give it up to him. Real language. You got to give it up to him. You know what I mean? Like, you know, even when the, the certain past guests that was on there, like the Seds and all of them, that Cat Williams one, though, really launched them. Really launched them. At this point, bro, then you get Monique to stamp everything and piggyback off of what Cat said. Ah, bro, at this point, you got to get Will Smith or Chris Rock on, on the couch. <laughs> to me, to me, at this point, you you can't come with no other mediocre guest. You either get Tyler Perry, Oprah, Chris Rock, or Will Smith on there and talk about some shit. Straight up. You know what I mean? For real. For real. So, hey, man. It's undisputed, man. Y'all looking trash out here. You know what I mean, Skip? I'm going to tell you this. I seen something, too, where they said um, Nightcap did a live show in Vegas, 
and that beat the ratings of Undisputed. Was it a live show of Nightcat? I could be wrong if anybody knows that information. Let me know in the chat. But yeah, Shannon beat the hell out of Undisputed on some raiding shit that surpassed them. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Tony said, Will is next, LOL. You got to bring somebody hot on. You got to you gotta keep that momentum going, man. You you done did 50 million with, with uh, Kat. No telling what you going to do with Monique. I think them numbers ain't come all the way in yet. You know what I mean? And um, Mocha said, I'm not feeling the cast of Undisputed. I'm not even, Mo- Mocha. I'm not either. They they just, they lame as hell. They they trying too hard. You know what I mean? They trying too hard. And that's, and, and you could tell Skip feel like he's the, the uh, what you call that? The, uh, the coon, so to say. <laughs> if I want to be political right now. And amongst three black men's poetic sins, divine minds, homestyle music in the building. What's going on, Po? Appreciate you for coming in. Um, yeah. So you know, Shannon got to go up, man. But I'm glad him and Mike Epps gonna talk that situation out. That's gonna be cool. You feel what I'm saying? Um, Super Bowl happened this Sunday. Taylor Swift. Everybody saying it was rigged. You know what I mean? Uh, she had homegirl Ice Spice there. Um, certain commercials that was really popping to me. I liked it, the Beyonce joint. You know what I mean? Verizon stock just went up like 10 million trillion because of that commercial. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Uh, I'm guessing she get ready to drop an album on revising, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, that's some shit that um, Jay did with Samsung. You know what I mean? When he dropped, I believe, that 444 album. When um, he made a deal with Samsung, everybody was trading in their fucking iPhones to get a Samsung fucking phone for the album and shit. You know what I mean? Um, Chuck say they can't handle Richard Sherman at Miss Mocha. He's very intelligent and individual. Oh, okay. Yeah, Richard Sherman, he, you know, he let it be known. Poeta says he just got home background listening for a bit. Okay, glad you made it home, sis, sis. Glad you made it home. Um, yeah, Richard Sherman, listen, you're not going to... Richard Sherman is like you said. He's not going. He has his moments where you be like, "What the fuck you talking about, Richard?" But when it comes to him and Skip debating, he's not going to let Skip get one up on him. That's for damn sure. You feel what I'm saying? That's for damn sure. He Skip is not going to sit there and, and punk him and shit like that. You know what I mean? But, yeah, man, um, let me know how y'all feel about the, um, well, y'all probably heard it on, or talked about it on Jungle Show. My intake on a um, halftime show, Usher did what he needed to do for the time he got the bag for. I don't, a lot of people was like, well, it ain't his best performance, it, it ain't this, this, that, and a third, but if you only got what, every bit of 15, 16 minutes and trying to smash a lot of them records because he got so many records that, you know what I mean? And I'm surprised they didn't really advertise the new album because, for my recollection, his new album supposed to drop that midnight. So... That was shocking to me that he really didn't do a single off of that new joint. You feel what I'm saying? So, but it was I, like I, I like you said the vibe of the HBCUs and everything else was cool. Um, but you know what's trending? You know what's trending? Uh, the poet said Usher did good and the guests did good too. Yeah, they were. They were. Um, 
every for what I see, every when Luda came out, like people was going nuts when Luda came out for real. You know what I mean? So that was pretty cool. John, John is John, man. John gonna turn up and get that check. John, John got white people and black people money for real. <laughs> And um, yeah, but what's trending is that little back hug with. Now, come on now. See, this is why I tell you, our community, we we we. What's the word I'm looking for? We a bunch of tennis players. You feel what I'm saying? Cause we back and forth with this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like them. That's entertainment. You feel what I'm saying? That's no difference than a person on a big screen acting. If if that was they was on a big screen acting and he held it like that, what would have been the difference between the actual movie and them on the stage with it? Cause Usher got a rep of serenading and breaking up homes out this motherfucker. That ain't his fault. He doing what he doing, like he said on Shay Shay. He an entertainer, you know what I mean? He's an entertainer. That's his job to entertain. Bottom line, Janet Jackson motherfucker do her whole ass out there, and Justin pull a titty out, and we ain't making not a big deal like this one. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. Jace Boogie in the building. What up, Jace? Appreciate you, my brother. Raider Kev, what's going on, Kev? God damn, they done put Raider Kev in this motherfucker. What's up, Kev? Happy New Year's, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah, but that, it's not a big deal, man. It's it, I, don't, I don't see nothing wrong with them guys just entertainment. You know what I mean? It's entertainment. Bro, again, I don't, I don't know. See, and it, like, and again, it'd be the insecurity guys. Oh, man, I, I'd have pulled up. I would have slapped the shit out of Alicia. For what? For what? That probably been done in rehearsal so many times. You feel what I'm saying? That it ain't like he was trying to really just hump on a woman on live TV. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yo, y'all bugging for real, man. For real. That's why, man, oh, man, I just hate the fact that, and big up to Swiss. Big up to Swiss. Because Swiss, as a black man, not insecure at all, holding down the fort, and it's just like, yo, that's my wife, but look at her. Y'all looking at the wrong shit. Look at her beautiful dress. I was looking at that fancy-ass piano she had on that motherfucker. That was the dopest shit I seen. You feel what I'm saying? Me, personally. Shout out to Purplicious. What's going on, Queen Butterfly? Appreciate you. You feel what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Jungle said, Crown Holder, if your wife goes on Brian's show and being touchy-feely, <laughs> Brian's show and being touchy filly with her and you in the studio, you not moving furniture and adjusting his wig. First of all, let me tell you this. If my wife is letting Brian be in touchy and filly on her, then I can't be mad at Brian. Brian just being Brian. It's the respect factor of your wife. That's taking it there. I'm just keeping it 100. You know what I mean? A man going to do what he going to do. A woman going to do what she going to do. It could be flirting. It could be whatever. You know what I mean? But that's just like, okay, let's play that. If, if jungle, would you be, and I'm, I'm going to put myself in the situation. I know you will probably come after me, but you can't be too much mad at me if motherfucking Buttercup giving me some motherfucking play, Rhythm and Nation word to Janet Jackson out this motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? You can't be mad at me. I'm just up there doing what I do, being whatever, cool, my LL cool knock self. 
You feel what I'm saying? And Buttercup feeling my vibe. And then, you know what I mean? She letting me be touchy-feely on her. She letting me. So you mean to tell me you going to come after me, steady Buttercup? You feel what I'm saying? Like, no. At the end of the day, Buttercup ain't think enough for you or respect you enough for it to be taken there. Because I know plenty of women who got a mean curb game. <laughs> mean curb game. Like, for real. Like, bruh, shut it down. Even on a flirt of just words, they shut it down. To let it be known. I'm just saying. You feel what I'm saying? That's just keeping it 100. You know, I, I'm not going to... But see, I'm... I'm in, I'm never insecure of any spot that I'm in. You feel what I'm saying? My thing is, if she's going to go do what she going to do, yeah, it's going to be disrespectful and stuff, but I'm just going to move away from my motherfucking shit and just do me. See, one thing about me, I can't speak for everybody, me personally, you going to cheat, do that. But understand, it's no motherfucking get back. It's no get back. You know what I mean? My gears go and drive, not reverse. I move forward like a motherfucker. Yeah, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be hurt. That's just the human side of me. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm damn sure ain't going to stay in there. You feel what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if you went to the far extent of disrespecting and not even thinking about me and on top of that you feel what I'm saying letting this man get to real close proximities of you it wasn't nothing there from the get go it wasn't nothing there from the get go you feel what I'm saying let me read some of this chat real quick Mocha Bella uh, T-Man say facts not Mocha Bella said, DJ Nas, did you really think Usher intentionally did it to Alicia? No, no, no. Because, see, with me, they have to rehearse these things, Mocha. You feel what I'm saying? They rehearsed this already. So I'm, I'm sure Swiss was at the rehearsal. This is what I'm saying. It's, all of this stuff be rehearsed already. If, if, did you see any hip now? Far as him, I don't know what the, I know which one, like the, the actual hand moving going across the butt. Now, that is a question mark. I give y'all that. That can be a question mark. But I'm talking about the motherfucking actual, like, holding type shit. You feel what I'm saying? I don't think that was intentional at all. No. Uh, Jungle Brother said, Buttercup eating eat, eat the cake when we get home. <laughs> cake batter. <laughs> yeah. T-Man say, check your girl. Right. <laughs> Ray the Cat say, preach, knock. Some, somebody's do like the confidence you can look at you and you might get even the chance to give you a hug, even the chance to give a hug, but you're coming home to me. Yeah, that's real language, Kev. Like, I'm, you know what I mean? Bro, it's a hug. Okay, again, it's your wife's job to shut it all the way down before it even get there. That's what I'm saying. If your wife, if y'all got this strong ass foundation and your wife respects you to enough to where, nah, it's fucked up. Especially if you know that's your homie or y'all been around each other, do whatever industry or whatever, do songs or whatever. Listen, nah, we ain't going to do that. You know what I mean? Now, hell. The way Hollywood is now, I don't, shit, yeah, had they intertwined or did whatever, okay, that's their business behind closed doors. But at the end of the day, I, no, Alicia, I think, to me, Alicia respects her husband 10 times, 10 times than what anybody knows. 
poetic sensei jungle you better hope no one <laughs> screenshot that yeah I, I should. I should. <laughs> Jungle said poetic. They can't screenshot it. It runs. <laughs> I run things in my house. Buttercup called me mister. Boy, Jungle. Jungle, you talking hella shit. But in that stream, bro, you was motherfucking leaning on the side like Paul Wall on this motherfucker. <laughs> T. Rocker said, man, fuck that. Both of them is million-dollar entertainers, bottom line, and she going home with Swiss. Bottom line, they got the check. It's inter- This is my thing, though. Will we be putting this much energy if that same particular thing was in the movie? It's no different than Denzel. What was that movie when Denzel and Viola Davis? Fences. Where he hugged her from the back and, and did the same thing. So we we figuring Denzel tricking on his wife now? Come on, bro. It's entertainment. DJ Chuck said, I don't think so, Ms. Mocha. Usher and Alicia Keys are performers. They rehearsal they rehearsal. Re- yeah, rehearsal with black folks making a big deal out of everything. That's true. That's true. Jay's Boogie say true. Mocha say, DJ Chuck, I was thinking they were having fun on stage. And, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? I'm, and you got to think about it like this. I'm sure it was pre-game shots going around, having fun. We got a big bag of fucking money from the NFL to do a whole 16-hour show. I mean, 16-minute show. Shitload of money just to do 16 minutes. Think about that. This guy out there in Vegas doing a whole residency. But he probably got what he get or double or triple that night he do in one show in the fucking residency for 16 minutes. This is what I'm saying. Black folks, we tennis players, baby. We go back and forth. <laughs> um, Purple Licious said, that's what Alicia Keys' husband said. He has no problem with it. Because he's secure in that spot. Any any secure man or husband don't care, man. Don't care. Especially if you know you are performers, like everybody is saying in this chat. It ain't like, it's like they had a fucking party on the dance floor, nothing's going on, and he going up dry humping Alicia on the dance floor. Now, it's being disrespectful. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Now, it's di- being disrespectful. Ain't it? This is just a regular average party with people two-stepping, stepping in the name of love type shit, and you getting behind my wife and doing that motherfucking yard on her ass like that? I got to check you. Yes. I got you. But they was performing. Right, Mocha. Mocha says not like they were naked on stage. (laughs) Right. Real language, real language. Poeta said 15 mil to put on that show. See? 15 mil for 16 minutes. And guess what? We he trending like a motherfucker. So um I'm guessing if he did put out the new album already, the new album already went up. You feel what I'm saying? I'm guessing the new album already went up. Um and that that thing that thing probably streaming crazy right now, <laughs> for real. DJ Chuck said, "Right, DJ Purple is just sad that black people wants to bring others down." That's a fact. Um, Mocha Bella said, "Jungle." Oh, I'm sorry. Purple Licious said, "Facts, Chuck." Everybody saying, "What's up, the Chief?" And um, let me see, let me see, let. Me- Mocha Bella said, Jungle B just talking because Buttercup not in the chat room. I know. 
I know. <laughs> Poetic said Jungle was quiet and said, yes, man, <laughs> on that last tree. Ah. Ah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 it's, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to jump to the jungle right now. Real quick. Pause. But I'm going to finish reading this chat. Um, Poetison said, but it's crazy how people so focused on that one spot and miss... The other things like her, right, showing black girl magic on the good talk, HBCU bands, the performers, and the beginning, etc. Right. You feel what I'm saying? If anything, we should still be talking about Jermaine Dupree and that baby boss outfit. You feel what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> How he couldn't even raise his arms up. Would and has shoulder pads and his jacket type shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bella says shout out to Jackson State and um University. Yeah, shout out to them. They did great. Shout out to her, man. Her is super dope. She is super talented. Dope, 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 dope. For real. Um Yeah. Usher brought the aid to the world, Poetic Sin said. That's real language. That's real language. Um, Jungle Brother said, Crown holder, this is between Usher bending over Kiki Palmer on stage and putting Alicia and the reverse cowgirl on stage in front of 75 mil. But Kiki Palmer, bruh, the whole Kiki... Now, Kiki grown, and Kiki let that thing happen. Let's keep it 100. This is what I'm saying. We, we, the Alicia thing was rehearsed. Kiki was an impromptu. He brought, he picked Kiki out the stage. He didn't say, oh, Kiki, I'm going to do this. He picked Kiki out the stage, and it went down on that stage. Alicia shit was rehearsed. Kiki shit was like attentional. That's just my opinion. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Jace Boogie Dyer, oh, Paul Edison, LOL, Jermaine Debris came out. <laughs> came out like, came out and he left his luggage and had to run to the baby gap. Yeah, that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. Shout out to Will I Am, too. Shout out to Will I Am. They should have, with that Oh My God record, I, I like the original better. I don't know if they played it or I overheard. It sounded like like more of the like house or remix version of it, but I think they should have, you know what I mean? And I think, me personally, they should have took out Love in this Club and put in like Lovers of Friends or something like that. Like that was a hit. You feel what I'm saying? But, I don't know. Maybe they just try to keep the up-tempo vibe going. <laughs> JB need charges bought on him. Oh, yeah! T-Man, it's going down. It's going down. It's going down. Uh, Mocha said, how to fire JD Stylist. You know what? You right, but JD a grown-ass man. He had to agree to that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Because a stylist could bring you plenty of outfits, but they going to ask you which one you feeling. Jermaine Dupree said, I'm going to crush him with that. You feel what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. You know what I mean? Chuck said, Swiss B, know what, <laughs> know what he's not mad about. Yeah, that's true. But, yo, um, let me bring up Jungle Brother real quick. Because to my recollection, um... I wasn't in the chat room Monday, but I did hear a replay on the number one Chief Rocker Jersey Vern show where Jungle Brother was on call. And um the crown holder name got bought up of uh, charges being bought against him and his uh Judge Jungle show. 
Now, let's peel the onion back, shall I say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Since we peeling the onion back, let's peel the onion back. Um, Poeta says, still can't believe JD looked in the mirror and said, I'm going to rock this outfit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> totally say JD these ass be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, as a stylist, yo, you really, like, pick that. You pick that outfit. You pick them socks. You picked them Michael Jackson penny loafers and everything. You picked all of that. You know what I mean? But, yeah, Jungle, the, you know, I, yeah, I got to get at you. Because, you, see, Knox might not be, my ears is always in the streets. My ears is always in the streets, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I might not be in the chat, but ears is always in the streets. You know what I mean? So, Jungle said, yo, I'm putting Crown Holder on charges. Because, you know, Crown Holder called me out saying my behavior being nice and everything because Buttercup was in the stream. But it's true. <laughs> what did I say wrong that everybody else just said? Boca said it. Poe said it. Who else was in there? Um, um, Truck D. Bro, you was on chill. You was on chill mode when she popped up, bro. For real. But I'm getting the charges, though. But it's okay. I'm going to throw myself at the mercy of the court. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Ready to catch a JD with some five-year-old little girl that used him as a dress-up doll. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> But you know what I mean, Jungle? Like, for real. I'm going to throw myself mercy in the court. But your ass, boy, you, you, you talk about best behavior. That boy, Jungle, was sitting there like, I'm good. You know what I mean? Then the questions start flowing out to Buttercup, how y'all met and stuff. But, you know, Knox going to take his charges like the champ. You know what I mean? But what I'm going to do, I'm putting together what day that was. Chief show was uh, yesterday, right? On the 12th, today the 13th. I'm putting together a February 13th committee. Just like they did the um, January joint in, in Washington. Because we supposed to got a show 10 o'clock this morning. It's on audio, live audio. I could pull the tape from us. Jungle, do not deny it. We supposed to got a a, a a show 10 this morning. Did anybody get any alerts that Jungle was live this morning? I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. Nobody got the alert. So, Jungle, just like you called me and said, if I ain't do it just because, show, if you got 24, probably less than 24, you probably got like 16 hours from now, from when this show go on, to fire up a show, brother, or the committee coming at you, bro. We coming at you. You feel what I'm saying? We are coming at you. Straight up. And I got my committee on deck. So, the impeachment is about to go down. You feel me? See, hey, bro, listen. I wasn't going to fire at you. But you you called me up, brother, saying, yo, you don't get it just because, yo. Not crown hold. I'm railroading you. I'm doing this. So now, brother, you on the clock. Like the draft, you on the clock, brother. You on the clock. You feel what I'm saying? What happened to the show? I had technical difficulties. Okay. Why wasn't that alert out? Why wasn't that alert and say, hey, everybody, uh, supposed to do a show. You know what I mean? Um, got technical difficulties. Poe Edison said, a.k.a. sleep. Yeah, Poe. Yeah, he was knocked the fuck out. Him and Jesus had a real big conversation. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? So, listen, you on the clock, brother. 
You on the clock. And 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 see, I'm a I'm a I'm a veto that technical thing. Cause see, to again, to my recollection, <laughs> to my recollection, your boy D Greatest and 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 from South Central, y'all y'all could share each other's stream. Like D D Great told me, he could become a host on your on your stream yard and stuff like that. So. He D Gray could have fired up the show underneath your account and been the host. Again, I'll wait. I'll wait. You know what I mean? Oh, it's a, it's a no, but see, you you talking about what's on YouTube. You said on the number one Chief Rocker show that you was doing a show today at 10. Nobody got any information about you having technical difficulties. Nobody, you ain't post that on your YouTube. You ain't get no text messages. You in like 5,000 group jump balls and nobody got near one message that say, Hey, everybody, I'm postponing the Jungle Brother show until Thursday. And again, you could have called your boy D Great up. D Great got a, a whole stream yard account too. D Great could have fired up a show on your behalf. Okay, D Great is say he's working full time and couldn't help. Okay, understand that. So why we ain't get that text message, sir, to say anything about the technical difficulties? Why we ain't get that? Why we ain't get that, sir? You know what I mean? That's all. That's all we want to know. Why we ain't get that? Why we ain't get that type of uh, alert due to groups and stuff like that? Cause we're a community. So at the end of the day, if you pass it on to three or four people, that three or four people gonna spread it around like, hey, jump coming on that whoop the whoop time. You feel what I'm saying? Again, wasn't no text. Wasn't no text. Boca said, "The greatest works a full time job." Shaking my head, thumbs down. <laughs> I'm saying though, brother, you know, I, I, you know, for what I see, I mean, last stream you did was the night of the Super Bowl, and they vetoed that based on the content you threw up. You know what I mean? But come on, Jungle. You on the clock, sir. You on the clock. And it shouldn't even be Thursday. Because now you making it like it's a 48-hour thing. You should change that Thursday and make it on Wednesday. We should get a show tomorrow, Jungle. Why Why are we getting a show Thursday, Jungle? Unless, unless you working on Wednesday and you got something going on... That's cool. But Jungle, you is on the clock, sir. Understand. On the clock. Your schedule on your YouTube can say what you want. But you is on officially on the clock. I got my committee set up. And if it doesn't go down, brother, I'm telling you, it's on. It is on. You know. Tomorrow is a holiday. It's, yeah, it is. It's Valentine's Day. What that what that got to do with you streaming? If you if you busting on 10 a.m. stuff, you know what I mean? People still got to go to work. People still making moves. Ain't nobody taking off for of Valentine's Day. All the Valentine's Day good stuff come from after work. You know what I mean? So when you trying to when you trying to we it's a holiday. We we black people acknowledging Valentine's Day like that now. <laughs> I thought the Valentine's Day start when folks get off. You know what I mean? You said you you was rocking ten a.m. So you know you rock ten a.m. You figure you do two hours ten to twelve on a Wednesday. Boom, you good. You know what I mean? Oh, Buttercup wants your full attention tomorrow. Oh, okay. 
Well, you know, I'm I'm a I'm a screenshot this for my records. <laughs> so next time I see Buttercup, I'm gonna bring up Buttercup. Did you need Jungle's attention from the hours of ten in the morning to twelve noon? <laughs> Uh, Chief said, Jungle, no Thursday is the <laughs> holiday side chick day. <laughs> yeah, that's what that, hey, it is. And that's what they said. That, that's National Side Chick Day. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> y'all crazy as hell. Y'all crazy as hell. Um, but Jungle, uh, you on the clock, bro. D. Gray, I'm... Boy, you a sight for soul eyes right now. D great. Now your name has been brought up, D great. D great. Big Gudio in the building. X Squad representing. Big Gudio. I need you to answer this question. And I know Jungle probably texting you right now on some side shit. You know what I mean? Cause motherfucker up top motherfuckers be doing some crazy shit like that. <laughs> Bruh, real language though, real language, do you work a full-time job now? That's all I need to know. Yes or no, D-Great, because we finna, I'm putting together a February 13th committee, D-Great. Jungle went on Chief Rocker Show and say he's supposed to rock a show at 10 this morning, but called my phone and, and... Demanded, saying you will be served a bitch warrant if they don't get a just because show. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm trying to figure out, you know, and I, to my recollection again, when you was on the stream, you know what I mean? Okay, you, right. You've been working a full time job forever. Let let me break this down. Was you busy between the hours that Jungle wanted to supposedly come on today? Was you busy, sir? Jungle said, Chief, get your boy <laughs> to crowd over there. I've been nothing but nice to him. Where is all coming from? Jungle, you called my phone. Bruh, you went on Chief Show, said Crown Holder is going to be brought up on charges. Then you called my phone today. And say if I don't, and if if y'all stroll back all the way to the beginning, I know it's a lot of chat, but you see Jungle say in the chat, a bitch warrant would have been put out on your boy Knox if this show wouldn't have went down. So, in my thoughts, I'm like, yeah, but wasn't he supposed to do a show today? Okay, so I'm going to talk about everything, but I'm definitely going to get at him. See, this is when you, I, I tell everybody, crown holder just wouldn't be left alone. You know what I mean? Crown holder don't bother no goddamn body. Crown holder want to chill, do his shows, have fun, entertain the folks and everything else. You know what I mean? It's sad that my brother from up top had to come at me like this and I got to go at you. You know what I mean? Hey, Jungle, I, I ain't been nothing but good, man. I ain't been nothing but good. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. But you you, you put the you put the press on Crown Holder. You feel what I'm saying? You put the press on me. So I got to fight back. So, yeah. You know what I mean? You know. <laughs> Mocha said, D. Great, I thought Spreaker and Mixed Cloud was your side jobs. D. Great said, yes. Okay. Yeah, so, um, D. Great, didn't you say you can help or take over the host on StreamYard if Jungle has any technical difficulties? Yes or no, D. Great? Because, remind you, this is all on audio. This is all on the stream. I got these. I got the stream saved in my YouTube library. So I'm just, you know what I mean? I just want to know, D. Great, when Jungle is up and running on his thing, 
Can you help him or take over as host on his stream yard? King Roy, you in the building. KRS Radio, WBRP. What up, King Roy? Dope show earlier too, bro. I caught that. He, oh, whoa, we can't recall. Okay, so this is what we doing. You can't recall. So now what Knox has to do now is start pulling audio clips. Start pulling audio clips. Okay, so you said you can insist, meaning you can insist on when he's gone, you can take over the host position, correct? Jungle said the greatest said he doesn't have to hold have the time to hold my hand. He did say that, but I remember one day when Jungle had stepped away real quick, D Great took over, I'm guessing as host for the stream yard until Jungle came back. Okay, you said you can. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. So it really technically cause Jungle said he had technical difficulties today. That's why he ain't do no show. What I'm getting on him about is why why we ain't receive that text that said, hey, everybody, no show today. Be postponed on Thursday, X, Y, Z. I get it, his platform. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. He went on Chief Rocker's show. And say he will be up and running today at 10. No show was aired at 10. We didn't know about the technical situation till now of this Just Because show. And me get ready to put my committee together for him not doing the show today. Because ain't nobody got that alert. Ain't nobody got that alert at all. You feel me? So, I'm just saying, Jungle, you on the clock, brother. I I don't know what the crown holder did to you for you to come at the crown holder first. Because the crown holder was just chilling. You feel what I'm saying? I was just chilling. You know what I mean? You called me, brother. This is what happened. I was just chilling. You called my phone and said you was going to put out a bench warrant for not doing a show. You woke up a sleeping giant, my boy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Juggle said, I called the great today for assistance. He said... He was at work. Zulu Cast headquarters ain't set up for streaming yet. We still on the analog. Okay. Okay. I. You know what? So you said what time Thursday? It's supposed to be Thursday at what time? 10 a.m.? I need you to put that in the chat. What time Thursday, Jungle? I need, I need, I need this, I need this in the chat room. Yeah, we could go to the YouTube and find out, but I, I need you to actually print it out and type it out, sir. 10 a.m. Okay, I'm glad you did that. Let me screenshot this. Uh Uh-huh. Okay, the screenshot is popping. So now, ladies and gentlemen, y'all see this, right? Y'all all can screenshot it yourselves to have for your records, too. If Jungle doesn't come on Thursday at 10, my February 13th committee will be commenced and the impeachment of Judge Jungle before it's even up and running. <laughs> I'm just saying, unless all charges are be dropped against me, Jungle, we could call it a wash. We could call it a wash. If you're going to drop your charges against me, I won't put the committee together. Let me know right now, bro. It's the, the, hey, it, it, it's up to you. You make the call right now. You feel what I'm saying? Am I still going to be put up for the charges? Because if I'm not, I'll I, I wash it. But if I am, 
And if you don't come on at 10 on Thursday, it's partner. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, Jersey Connect Show will be back next week, next Tuesday. Them boys from Jersey will be back. You know we're going to be cutting up real, real heavy. It's going to be a lot to talk about. We ain't been together for a couple of weeks, so that's going to be a movie in itself. Rocket and your boy Knox back in the saddle doing what we do. Um, Daria the coach will be back in a couple of weeks as well. You know what I mean? Mocha said, Jungle B, are you throwing degraders under the bus? De oh, Jungle said, no, Mocha, I never do degrade like that. Okay. But, yeah, we on the clock with it. We on the clock with it. <laughs> so, hey, man, listen, I'm just glad to be back doing this by the grace of the Most High. I appreciate everybody for coming in and supporting and showing so much love on this Just Because show. It's been a minute since I did it, but it feels good to do it. You feel what I'm saying? It feels good to joke and talk about stuff and give read chat and you know what I mean get our folks back to laughing and stuff like that you know what I mean so laughter is good for the soul it really is I ain't gonna hold you it really is so uh man trying to I'm trying to get back to where I need to be trying to get back to where I need to be for real but um everybody stay prayed up stay blessed up on purpose you know what I mean Real language, definitely. <laughs> and um, I appreciate y'all for real. T Man, D Great, Chat Room, Mocha, uh, Jace Boogie, Chief, Poetic Sands, Jungle, Big Illy. Um, who am I forgetting? King Royal. Who am I forgetting? If I'm forgetting anybody, am I forgetting anybody? Purple Licious, Chuck. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? I'm just strolling through chat. Raider Calf. Um, Chief. I'm just strolling through chat right now just to see if I miss anybody. Um, if you're in the background listening, thank you so much, Big Illy. Um, I appreciate everybody for their love and support. Keep me in prayer. Bella, thank you. Jungle, thank you. You know what I mean? Purplicious, thank you. Um, poetic sins. Thank you, sis. And uh, hey, man, listen, we gonna have some fun. We gonna have some fun with this. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot to talk about. Oh, okay. I'm. I'm. I don't know if I should wait. I wait until Tuesday. I want to talk about that season finale of Canaan, but I'll wait till I get with Chief on that one. I wait till I get with Chief, cause me and Chief, yeah, that's that's gonna be it. that season finale. If you ain't catch that season finale, you got until Tuesday to catch that season finale of Power Canaan, man. That joint was off the hook, for real, for real, <laughs> for real, for real. So, um, y'all make sure. Yeah, if y'all missing, y'all been under a rock. Y'all better get out of it, cause that season finale was on. I was actually watching that motherfucker on the stream. That bitch had me locked in. You know what I mean? Ghost is dead. D great. You stupid. For real, for real. Yeah, that shit was that shit was off the hook. <laughs> Nah, but real language, I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed up on purpose, your boy Knox, man. I'm out of here, man. I'll see y'all on the flip. Peace. Oh, yeah. Test move, straight face, you remember, you remember.